Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. The US 30 there had an incredibly volatile session, uh, hitting 17,895 before dropping quite significantly. A huge volatility and we're actually on the uh, back foot again this morning, trading below potential support at 17,546, eyeing up 17,361. Trading below both moving averages, MACD close to crossing the zero line, which would be bearish, and uh, the other technicals are neutral, indicating further downs momentum as possible. And usually after a candle formation like this, uh, that is seen to be from a negative, uh, from a um, technical analysis perspective, to be quite negative. Looking at the UK 100, still a whole, long, a whole bunch of volatility. We managed to close positive, but that's been uh, engulfed by this bearish engulfing pattern. Iron up 64.15. A break and close below that opens up a move towards 6,000. Moving on to Japan 225. Um, I get very similar picture, horrible candle formation right here, bearish engulfing pattern, looking at 16,392 as next potential support, crossing the zero line on the MACD, other technicals are neutral indicating further potential downwards action, this could be a head and shoulders formation right here, uh, and dollar yen has uh, retreated quite significantly down to 116.75, so you got double whammy on the Japanese markets of a sell off in equities and a resurgence in the Japanese yen as a safe haven. Uh, with a bit of decoupling from gold, which we'll come back to in a second. Um, it's not come off as much as some other commodities, but crude oil has sold off even further. Uh, but we'll come back to that in a minute. Looking at uh, dollar yen, a break of uh, 117 spot 36 now opens up 114 spot 74. We're now trading below both moving averages. Very similar uh, uh, kind of picture with the technicals in regards to the MACD close to crossing the zero line, uh, which should be seen to be bearish. Uh, and uh, this looks to be accelerating to the downside. Uh, Euro yen as well, selling off quite aggressively this morning. So moving on to Crude Oil West Texas, which uh, briefly reached parity with Brent Crude yesterday. Um, we're in a bit of $45 mark. We're currently at $45.10. Um, the longer term potential support still remains at $35. Um, there are, um, I guess the next phase of crude oil is the storage capacity in America, which is apparently only one third full, with uh, many traders now buying up storage space uh, on land, but also on sea with giant super tankers to try and store uh, immediate delivery um, West Texas to sell off at some point in the future. Um, because right now you do have Contango uh, with crude for a near term delivery is uh, cheaper than the, uh, the the three month forward. So what you're getting now is some people actually buying up physical crude oil uh, with the idea to sell it um, again for physical delivery at some point further on down the line. Um, but that's that's one thing that might be supporting West Texas in the short term versus Brent. Uh, but Brent is maybe about, I think about $46 right now. So very, very close. Um, so it might not be long before West Texas is trading at a premium to Brent, uh, which uh, will be interesting indeed. So looking at crude, uh, gold, commodity has been coming off quite a lot. Um, the dollar has uh, taken a bit of a backseat incidentally, um, but they are kind of butting heads there at potential resistance 12.42, doji formation here on uh, on gold uh, with the commodity sell off. Um, that is obviously taking precedence over dollar weakness uh, and also over the safe haven status of gold, but also because we're at 12 week highs. So I wouldn't be that surprised uh, if we managed to, uh, should the weakness and the equities continue and the fear factor continues to, take, to, to stay uh, kind of tackling sentiment, I wouldn't be surprised to see gold be challenged 1242 again. But it seems to be Japanese yen as where the action is. If you want a safe haven play, uh, it'll be quite good. But just remember that uh, it does tend to be a coiled spring. As soon as risk on comes back into the market, dollar yen has got a habit of bouncing back quite strongly. So just be very careful if that's the route you're looking to take. So looking at euro dollar, um, not really doing a huge amount. We did get a retracement bounce of one spot 18.72. Uh, I'm guessing still longer term, the Eurozone is going to print more money, still got to cut rates. The US is only the only way is up really, um, albeit it's taking a bit of a breather right now. Uh, so one's hot 16.42 is the next potential support. Any uh, rebounds, so any more greenback weakness longer term and if the Euro manages to resurge. Uh, 118.72 is potential resistance followed by one spot 2047. It's not a big change from previous discussions that we've had. Um, Cable had a bounce back yesterday. Very volatile session for Cable. First of all, we had a whole bunch of macro data, which was quite negative. We, we missed most of our inflation um, targets, uh, which caused short-term sell-off on uh, on Cable. Uh, but we, you can see there we finished the day actually in positive, uh, almost in positive territory, but we're in positive territory right now, trading above one spot 51.85. 
almost got a crossover, positive crossover in the MACD. And as you can see there on the slow stochastic there and the RSI, we do have buy signals. So we might expect a short term spike, uh, short term short squeeze on uh, GBP USD. And we've seen for the first time in a long time a bit of a decoupling from cable versus euro dollar. So euro dollar is going down, cable is going up. So macro, macro data wise, we do have Eurozone industrial production, which should be interesting, followed by retail sales in the US and obviously crude oil inventories, which will be very, very keenly watched by crude traders today. Fast forward on the Thursday, you've got German GDP and uh, then you've got your unemployment claims from the US and PPI and the Philly Fed numbers. So we do have a fair amount of macro data coming out. So a whole bunch of fundamentals that could affect the markets. Keep around the chart forum as ever. Lots of cool stuff here from a global analyst team. Make insights part of your layout so you can be informed of movements as they happen. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.